Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Clickbait YouTuber here. And today what I got for you is... Is actually something that's not clickbait. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're playing GTA Vice City, but with no water. As you can see, there is no water here at all. We've covered GTA 5 with no water a couple times already, and I don't know why it never dawned on me to think, let's see what Vice City has to offer with no water. So if we get enough support on this video and you guys want to see it, I can cover every other Grand Theft Auto from GTA 3 to GTA 4. We've already done GTA 5. I think that's all of them. So if y'all want to see that, drop a like on the video. Let's go for 5,000 likes and we will explore these other maps with no water. And also just a real quick plug, check out my Twitter, link down below with my Instagram. I sometimes post cool stuff on there. So if y'all want to keep up to date with me outside of YouTube, and you know what to do. So I guess I'm a liar now. I said that this is Vice City with no water, but as I turn around, there's a giant pool of water right here. And Tommy can swim in it. Well, just kidding, he's walking in it. But that aside, here is his Vice City with no water. And unfortunately, the floors of the ocean are not solid. So we can't just drive a car around. Imagine how amazing that would be. Rockstar probably never imagined that people like us would be using mods to explore Vice City with no water. So they made it a non-solid surface. And we are just floating around here in nothingness. But the rocks, on the other hand, the rocks are solid. Of course, the, the rock is solid. It's rock solid. That's where the saying comes from. Jesus Christ. Okay, so the rocks out here in the water are able to uh, be walked on. That is interesting. One thing that I do want to do today is actually check out some of the Easter eggs hidden within the waters or within what used to be the waters of Vice City and good thing we have this like no clip mod installed so we can just go from one place to the other and fly around and actually see what's going on but also isn't it weird how like the sand has this like greenish blue tinge to it so it's not actually like tan sand colored so that's something pretty interesting right there I guess it just that's what gives the water the color because the water is actually clear oh we saw some boats Look at them floating away. Whoa, falling into the abyss. They are gone forever. It's crazy how things are still spawning as well. But just an interesting look here at some of the things going on. We've got some blue barrels. Probably some bodies in here. I don't even think, well, I can't even see if there's anything inside of them. But there's some trash barrels there. Then we've got these, uh, what would you call these? You guys... Let me know down below, what, what do you call these houses right here? Just, it's not a beach house. It wouldn't be like a, a I don't know, like a, I don't even know. Just let me know if y'all know what that is. I wonder if we can make the jump. Can we make the jump off of this ramp? Yeah! So close, I clipped my head. <laughs> oh, whoa, where are we at? We just teleported like on the land. Okay. So, there's also what looks to be water outside of here. And I don't know, can we even go to this? Let's see. Let's see if we could swim in this water. There is nothing here. We are invisible. Tommy just went invisible mode on us. So I'm sure this just goes on forever because the earth is flat, obviously, right? Flat earthers. I'm not a flat earther. I'm kidding. I do think some of the stories are interesting. And there we are. Tommy's back now. So let's see if we can find some Easter eggs. Oh, speaking of the devil, we done found one right here. Here is the chartered Libertine Lines boat that is uh, just on its side. I was going to say capsized, but capsized would be upside down. This thing just laid over here in the water and took a nap. And it's just hanging out. And what's interesting is this is actually, I believe, an Easter egg from GTA 3 because we destroyed this boat. And it was in the mission Bomb the Base Act 2, I believe. There's also another one of these on the other side of the map, I believe. So we can actually go check that one out. But over here, I don't really think there's too much to offer. Here's actually what the boat looks like when it's above the water. But, uh, like, moving on, we've got a, uh, a buoy. And all my British peeps from the UK... 
Y'all can just correct me and say, no, it's not a buoy, you American pig. It's a boy. Well, the pronunciations are different in the U.S. compared to, to the U.K. Kind of like how you spell color with a U and we spell it with an O. So I guess here we are under the runway. An airplane landed. So we are in the black abyss right now. It is just completely dark right there. And I guess because the sun is rising, that could be why. It could be just the light hitting the, uh, I guess the sea floor, the ocean bed, whatever y'all want to call it. But right here, we've got some more Easter eggs. We have got us some cars that are just dumped right here in the water off the bridge. There's probably bodies from the mafia in here. I wouldn't be surprised. But these are not solid so we just fall right through the cars i'm guessing that most of the easter eggs are not going to be solid it would be cool if they were like the rock <laughs> the rocks if we could stand on those that would be pretty cool i believe right over here we have another easter egg yes and this would be the man in cement shoes who i've always thought looks like diaz kind of looks like diaz it kind of looks like super mario Super Mario's just chilling down here. This is what happens when he uh, goes into the green the green pipes. But this man has a very hairy chest. And no, we can't beat him up. He is invisible with his titties. He's a meme lord. He's praising the meme lords. Nice boxers. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 okay, okay. Enough of that, enough of that. There's actually another one of these guys. Somewhere around here. There's like two of every underwater Easter egg. And I think he's like back over here somewhere. We might have to go find him in a few moments. But let's continue. It's cool because all the Easter eggs are in like a straight line. And right here is a boat. This one looks like the boat used in the movie Jaws. So I'm guessing maybe that's what it was. Because there is a parody of Jaws at the movie studio. Which is just right over there. But once again, this one isn't solid. We just fall right through it. We should find another ship. I believe he's somewhere over here. Hopefully I didn't trigger any feminists by calling the ship a he. I'm not sure what the ship identifies as. But we've got us a long, like, submarine right here. This is creepy. This is the creepiest one in Vice City, in my opinion, like Easter Egg. Because there is just a creepy submarine chilling in the water here. Whoa. Whoa. And this one, I'm presuming, is not solid. Of course. Of course, of course. And yeah, so we've got this submarine. I always want to, like, speculate that this is, like, a Russian submarine. And they're, like, spying on Miami. Oh, and there's the other ship. There it is. So this one's pretty cool as well. Just like the first one that we took a look at, it's the same thing. It's just on this side of the map, just, like, catty corner to it, so pretty interesting and what's even crazier that i'm just now kind of like paying attention to is out here there is no floor whatsoever so it is just nothingness and then we can see under the map and let's speed it up and take a whoa what is this what is this we've got a we've got a fence we've got a wall we've got donald trump's wall right here big rocks ahead iceberg ahead ah, what is this what is that? Do you guys see this? Are these supposed to be rocks? Oh. That like didn't load into the game. These are invisible rocks. These are... What in the world are we on? We are walking on water like that Eminem song. That wasn't that good. I'm a super big Eminem fan. Have you guys been following the beef with Eminem and MGK? He dropped a crazy dish track today. Gonna see where this goes, but like, whoa, we've got just a invisible rock here. That is, that's interesting. Genuinely curious what that's all about. Then we've got the dock to the lighthouse. What is under the lighthouse? Anything? Nope. Nothing to see here. Move along. Sorry, boss, I'm gonna be late to work today. I don't know how I ended up out here, but I did. And and are we going to get out? Oh. Yes! Yes, we did it. We we are out. We are on our way to work. Let's go. Let's go to work, guys. 
They keep trying to help each other oh, out. Oh, no. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. And we are back on the golf course. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy GTA Vice City with no water. If y'all would like to see me cover GTA, I'm trying to drive and talk and not look at the game. But if y'all want to see me cover GTA 3 with no water, GTA 4 with no water, San Andreas. I forgot that one earlier. Then, uh. You can let me know as we fall into this pit here by leaving a like on the video. Let's go for 5,000 likes. Let's really see if we can hit that. I mean, I'm reaching big time. But if you haven't already, drop a like. Consider subscribing. That way you never miss out on uh, another video game upload on the channel as we run away from this blowing up car that's on fire. Uh, I can't talk straight. All right. Until next time. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you have Vice City on the PC, you can check the mod out linked in the description. And I will see you next time. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great day.